okay we did drawing and then with this eraser i a little bit uh, try to erase the line uh, to not to be a, a really dark and then i'm going to start with the base so we work as a layers the first layer is really light and then we come forward and then add more layers on top and the first layer i'm going to use yellow ochre or mustardy color which is so light this color and then the reddish brown is the base of this dock so I'm going to mix this one, bring it here, and then this reddish brown. Everything is ready and it's watery, so it's good to use for for the base. It should be really watery and I, I diluted whole the hair into this paint. I'm going to start apply paint on top. Even you need more paint, you can add. And be careful if any part is white, we need to keep that part white of the paper. We don't need to add the paint on top, especially here is a little white and on top of the eye as well. So I keep the paper be white and just very gently try to move my brush stroke toward the part that I'm going to add. Even this part is darker. We can move on with the reddish brown I keep here a little more white then even the part that you would like to make it dark it's okay because of the fairy hair that dog has you can use the tip and then make some nice liney like that to show these are the fairy hair even we don't need to keep it uh, uh, actually dry this part. I try to fade a little bit here and always have a napkin in your hand that's so handy and useful. Clean the brush. Right away I move on to the yellow, warm yellow color because I have a touch of warm yellow on the forehead. So just bring the warm yellow without adding any water because already the brush has water then clean it and now I'm going to use this reddish brown reddish brown is better to have less water than the mustardy color so even if I have yeah, water inside I try to control it by napkin get the water and then start apply on top of the face just some touch of reddish brown or burnt Sienna. It's still wet, so they can nicely blend together. I'm not cover everywhere, just some touch, because I need to keep that yellowy color as well. And even this part, I am going to use a little more the pointy part of the brush, and just make some line here. The reason I'm going to use right away because I don't want to let the paper completely dry. I need to be I need the paper be wet for this kind of texture or brush stroke and then let it dry so clean the brush very well even this part it's more orangey on top even if it's start to get dry I try to reduce this water one movement so let it dry again and start with the same mustardy color that we already had for the top of nose but we have a lot of white color to to be keep uh, as a white of the paper so even on top of the ear the nose is just some tiny line with this reddish brown or yellowy ochre we can add because of the shape of uh, feathery shape of dark hair even on the other side I can keep it like that and then move down toward the mouth 
and even I try my best to fade it to the background so I'm not adding the line in between when you want to fade something to the background clean the brush reduce the amount of water and try to disappear the edges by touching like that so it's already moved to the background under the nose is a little darker so I'm going to use reddish brown I told about watery brush but it's not runny it's not move everywhere it's already wet the brush and then easily can put on uh, can sit on top of the paper but it's not run everywhere if you uh, take your paper like this way or that way it's not moving everywhere just wet the paper And then I try to use the tip of brush for shaping here should be completely well, uh, white so please not add any more I just play with my <coughs> brush stroke to add some more stroke here it's a start to get dry completely under the nose should be a little bit darker so I can use darker brown as well with the blue control it by napkin So far it's fine but we can add another color a little darker later. So this is good for the base of the face <coughs> and we have sorry we have a lots of touch of um, like a turquoise blue on, on our dark face. Uh, I will add that later. We need to make that color. So now i'm going again back to the mustardy color for the ear at the same time this yeah, um, reddish brown is work too we need both of them but in a light uh, value so it's not dark the second layer is a little bit dark the first layer which is the base always more watery and more light some part I use tip of brush to make some line here especially I mentioned about inside and keep some white of the paper to controlling with the tip of brush not touch uh, everywhere use the tip to make the hairy liney like that inside a little bit red so i'm going to use more reddish brown because it's wet so we can add some reddish brown here to make it a little feeling of red be visible if it's a start to get dry you don't need to do that please wait after everything get dry again wet this surface and then add this reddish brown on top my paper because uh, because it's hundred percent cotton so it's uh, still wet the good reason that uh, most of the time I really happy with hundred percent cotton is uh, it keep the paper wet for longer time so you you can be more relaxed and work on it and it's not dry easily a little bit darker here so I'm going to use brownie darker brown just use the tip of brush to shape it here is a little wet but here is completely dry you can see the difference this is fade to the paper this is just
Okay, now I would like to work on the body and the body is more dark here and then uh, more bluey but on the base I see some uh, mustardy color visible as well and I would like to make it a little bit juicy, so watery and even under this part of the mouth is watery as well the base is like that, it's so light so I'm not making dark for this uh, mustardy color even keeps some part uh, really lighter than so keep the paper white because here should be dark with another color but the base is a little bit feeling of yellow is visible now I'm going to add here there close to the ear as well I'm going to add some tone now I move on with more reddish brown because some part is more reddish brown visible and some part is bluey and darker so the part that it's more reddish I'm going to take with the paint when the surface is wet easily <clears throat> they blend together so even if you work on a 25% cotton paper and it's uh, absorbed more and dry so easier than 100% uh, you need to go with the first layer more watery then give you chance to work uh, with another layers on top now use the tip of brush more here I keep it more yellowy and even I would like to keep this white color as well so like that again I will wait get dry and then move on with the next layer which is darker okay now the next layer everything is dry the next layer should be the bluey tone that we would like to add on top of uh, our dog and then the really darker tone that we need to have so I would like to make that blue color that's the turquoise blue but if we don't have that it's okay with one green if, if we have uh, viridian green and mixing with the yellow and the light blue give us something close to that color so I'm going to mix this one with this blue, light blue color to keep the feeling of blue and then I don't want to add a lots of yellow because if I add it moves toward the green and I would like to keep the blue tone so a tiny bit, this is more um, should be more bluey, greeny so a little bit more blue into the green, not the um, warm green, it's a radiant green which is more turquoise and when I add the blue I can reach that color we search for it like that one so I'm going to control the amount of water by napkin and then from this side we have this blue here we have this blue and I see here we have just some touch of here we have a little bit here I have under the eye even this side
Now for the last part, uh, I would like to make more dark color on top and make the features. And actually it's not the last part, it's move on with the features, but uh, the last darkness that I prefer to work on the face, I mean. So I'm going to add more reddish brown, but you know that I'm going to add less water this time. Try to add more pigment reddish brown with dark brown mix these two together and it's enough water it has it's not really watery but i would like to go uh, a little darker on the left side and add some line as a hair the not the hair it's like a fairy hair that the animal has that when i show it with the tip of brush it moves out it's it's more visible that <clears throat> we have this uh, play in their uh, face so with this dark color I'm going on top and now when I want to fade this color to the background clean the brush very well control the napkin just one touch the edge help me to make it fade to the background and even I can use the tip on top of this uh, lighter value to make some line darker line and make some hairy uh, which is lovely on top of the face so forehead and actually we have this fairy hair here a little bit dark tone here I need to bring when I am going to add some dark color on top of the lighter tone so i need to use very less water in my brush should be a little dry not not completely you see that it's not really watery and juicy it is enough water for moving the brush stroke and uh, it shows the paint it's really dark so we need something like that even if it's a lots of water control it by napkin Bring it here, even here, under the nose. Oh, I forgot to add the blue color under the nose. We need this bluey color here. With the turquoise green. We need this color and even when I'm coming here, I need to make it hairy, like hair, uh, and need to make it black on this part even anytime you use it separately and use less water and more pigment you can make the color be darker and darker Like that separately I'm going to add darker tone here and even I need darker brown darker brown it's uh, burnt umber or burnt sienna a uh, burnt umber and uh, van dyke van dyke is so darker than burnt uh, burnt umber but if you have burnt umber like me you can mix a little blue into that and make it dark control it here we have this really darker color but I try to make it look like feather, uh, hairy like that I'm going to add a little darker tone here to separate them out. One touch here. 
some touch here it's nice to have one stroke here under the mouth one stroke there and make it a little bit fairy But be careful not to overwork because when we overwork we make it dirty sometimes the good paper is so helpful because can control more and more then comes here And you see, I go with the bra uh, dry brush stroke. I'm not adding water to this. Okay, so far so good. And then... I think this darkness we need to have for under the mouth separate it and yeah that's fine now clean the brush very well the only things that I would like to add more a little bit lighter brown here not lighter it's uh, it's not really dark but a little bit more in darkness some touch of the mouth now we are ready for adding the colors for features eyes and and nose so before start sorry i don't want to forget we need some splash so splash brown splash it's nice to have beside this bluey move on with juicy water it depends how much a splash you would like to add you can add less or more even yeah I'm happy with that I don't want to make it more busy that's fine now the finishing part is the features which is the eyes and nose so it's a dark color I'm going to use uh, brown and dark blue to make this dark color with very less water and more pigment so be careful not touch the part that it's uh, wet and I need to control my hand here we need some white color inside the eye but we can uh, go with two different way if we can control the white of the paper same as the other part so it's okay to go and control it by white of the paper and keep it like that if not easily you can add a tone and then add a gouache or uh, acrylic paint to bring back that white of the paper uh, actually white tone so I try my best to keep the paper white but if I couldn't successful I try to add again back with the acrylic but yeah that's fine I can keep this that more helpful and I'm going to use a tip of round and small brush for this details which is so helpful and try to be a little bit slow for the eye both actually eyes and 
even when we want to use the dry brush and be really wet uh, be really dark even with that we need to use uh, a little bit water inside so it can't ha happen without any water okay so this is about the eyes and now I move on with the nose both sides actually it's better to start with a little darker blue first because uh, I'm in cobalt blue because most part of the nose is really bluey So I cover with the blue and control with napkin to lift up this paint here. And now this dark color is good for the hole. Two hole I can make here and there. And then the rest is okay to keep it a little bit feeling of blue under it I am going to add a little bit darker tone and with this blue bring it down clean the brush very well I would like to lift up a little bit more here or even with the small part of the uh, napkin yeah I lift up more just with the pressure not rubbing so our deck is ready to finish now we can say it's finished and just sorry last touch I would like to add one bluey tone here under it and one here more that that's great I don't want to over overwork we can call it finished thank you so much for joining me and hope you enjoy it bye for now